Yo, check it out. You're absolutely going to love this because today I'm talking about how we manifest what we're emotionally, circumstantially, and physically conscious of and why it's so vitally important for you to become aware of awareness. You see, right down to our very DNA, that's right, right down to the genome itself, we are continually manifesting in our bodies, our minds, our circumstances, and our world what we think. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. This is the wisdom that has been being taught by mystics from since time began, dude. And we have got to begin to really tap into this shit. Like I'm telling you right now that I look around. I've been teaching this stuff for a long time. I've been living this stuff for a long time, manifesting and creating. And I look around and I see so many people that might quote the passage of scripture or talk about this stuff. And yet so very few are actually living out of the ultimate reality of kingdom, of the of eternity, of the eternal realm, of their God consciousness. Consciousness, Christ consciousness, Buddha nature, whatever you want to call it, okay? When we begin to really tap into our awareness, we begin to be, become aware of awareness, begin to be aware of Christ consciousness, the kainos new reality, then everything starts to shift. Our world is as we think it is. In other words, our world isn't this concrete existence, and now I'm looking at our world and I'm like, yeah, that's how it is. No, our world is manifesting what we are conscious of in our thought life. In other words, the way that we think it is, is the way that it is. It is the direct result of our conscious interpretation. Everything that's going on in your life, all the way down to your very DNA, is the result of your conscious interpretation. As a man thinking in his heart, so is he. If you think that you're just going to continue to get sick and, and, and age and then die, well, then you will get sick, age, and die. If you begin to believe in and recognize and, and, and understand, and I say believe, I'm, I hold that word very loosely, all right, dude? So I'm not, I'm not holding on to that word tightly. But if you actually begin to recognize and become conscious of the eternal, then your body actually begins to manifest that eternal realm and it's it's almost like you you're literally bringing eternity into this body that's been aging since time began and i say since time began because before time began all that we knew consciously understood consciously knew and consciously interpreted was the eternal realm and therefore we lived in that eternal immortal state of being that we might call love that we might call christ that we might call the timeless reality ultimate reality so, if you're manifesting what you're conscious of, then what are you conscious of? What are you conscious of in your body? What are you conscious of in your world? We oftentimes think the world is just as it is. It just is what it is, you know? I mean, like, there's good people and there's bad people. No. There are people that are conscious of good things and there's people that are conscious of, 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 of things that might not be of the best interest to their brother, their sister, their neighbor. And then there are those that are super conscious of the moment they're in. And they're not stressed out by what's going on around them. And so some people look at the situations that are going on here in 2020 with COVID and, and uh, flooding and fires and disasters all around us and the political arena. And they might look and they might be super frustrated and irritated. And they're like, man, this is just frustrating to them. Their worldview is this world is crazy right now. I've heard it a hundred times come out of random strangers' mouths, random people's mouths in my, in my time out. And they're always like, man, this 2020 is crazy. It's a wild time. It's a crazy time. And what I'm saying to you is, nah, 2020 has been a year of blessing. It's been a year of prosperity. It's been a year of goodness. It's been a, a phenomenal fucking year, dude. And I mean, it's exciting to be alive here in this moment. And it's not even the year 2020 to me. It's just this moment. And so understand what I mean is, and what I'm talking about is your perceptual awareness shifts the way the world is around you. The world around me is peaceful. What's the world look like around you? When you are conscious of peace, you manifest peace. If you're conscious of bliss, you manifest bliss. If you're conscious of the party, you manifest the party. Eden is all around me. 
Eden is not a place that you go. It's an inner reality. And when you're conscious of that inner reality, then everywhere you are is Eden. Everywhere you are is perfect peace, perfect pleasure, perfect bliss, perfect love. That is the power of tapping into an inner state of consciousness that I would call ultimate reality. Jesus would call the kingdom of God that we would talk about as this inner sanctum and the inner reality of what you truly are, the eternal realm, the eternal one, the timeless one. So listen, I just want to encourage you right now. Be conscious of peace today. Don't be all caught up in the issues going on around you. Just be conscious of peace here. And watch as it begins to manifest in your life. Watch as it begins to manifest around you. And then one at a time, we'll begin to shift and change the, the things that are taking place around us. Circumstances will begin to shift as our consciousness collectively shifts. I love you guys so much. You are fucking amazing. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful night. And remember, the more you awaken, the more you play. <laughs>